People say Chicago is only known for death, violence, and crooked politicians. They say we as a city have no true identity. Truth be told, identity is in lack. We've all just been looking through the wrong lens. I'm taking my message across the world and I'm putting Chicago on my back in the process so that little girls and boys can see that somebody that's walked the same streets as them, that has dealt with the same discrimination and that has feared the same death has done it and they can too. It's time to get over the life that we've been given and it's time to create the life that we want to see. It's time to get over the hump. are not alone. A lot of times in life, we get to a certain place where we might be in our job and we hate where we are. We might be around people that we don't need to be around and we hate where we are. You might feel like you're stuck at this place and you will be here forever, but you are not alone. Now I know typically when we do getting over the hump, we all excited and we all giddy and I'm giving you motivation and that's cool, but today this message is different. And let's backtrack. I know you saw the video from last week. I know you saw the video from the week before. Yes, I, I, I spoke at the, the COE National Conference bringing all the trio directors and, and upper bound coordinators and everybody from every part of the country. And I got a chance to put my gift out there. And I, I not only killed the moment, I took advantage of it, but just three to maybe even four weeks before that, I'm experiencing, I'm like literally standing in the face of being evicted. I was facing having my car repossessed. I was facing all of these bad things. Look, not having enough money to get groceries, trying to take care of my family. Look, bad luck happening around me. Yeah, it looked good on Facebook, but when we talk about going into the realm of having your own and being an entrepreneur and chasing your dreams, it's a struggle, I get it, but you are not alone. I'm speaking real life today, and I don't care. Look, I told you I'm under shame. So here, I'm telling you the truth today and I know some of you all out there are going through the same things you stuck in a dead-end job you tired of people giving little, little 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 flimsy type of opportunities to you you're trying to make your dream a reality today as you get started as this week gets started as you getting over the hump as you're trying to pull yourself out of these problems out of these situations do not forget that you are not alone the people around you that were there when things were going well seem to be nowhere in sight now. No text, no calls, no nothing, no little bit of encouragement. I know, I know, I know because I went through it, but I'm telling you, you are not alone. And look, this is where you get into that place by yourself and sit back and recollect on everything that you've been through and take that pain and use that pain to push you to your next level of greatness. You got to use your pain to push you past everywhere you are right now because you're your dream, your vision is so much bigger than this temporary place. You don't know when that moment is coming. You don't know when that opportunity is coming. So you have to be ready, even in the midst of storm, even in the midst of tears, even in the midst of pain. Look, you have to be ready at any given moment because I'm telling you when that opportunity comes, it might only be that one time. When I went to the Hyatt a few weeks ago downtown to that conference, I put it all out on the line. Nobody in that building knew what I was going through. Nobody in that building understood the pain that I had to go through. Nobody in that building knew, even though I'm out there trying to give them life, right? Nobody knew, guess what, I ain't want them to either. When I say we got out there and we blazed that speech from start to finish, we sold out books from start to finish, look, that moment, you gotta keep pushing. Look, when you feel like you have nothing left in the tank, you gotta keep pushing because there will come a point where that opportunity will come. And when that opportunity comes, hear what I'm saying? Hear what I'm saying? When that opportunity comes, you gotta be ready. You gotta be willing. Look, you gotta say, look, yeah, it happened in the past. Yes, I've been through pain. Yes, it's hurt. Yes, I've lost this. Job in the Bible, look, he lost everything. He still looked up to his higher calling and he said, you know what? I'm gonna bless you anyhow. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep moving and I'm gonna keep pushing because I believe in the dream that I've seen. I believe in the vision, in the words that you have told me about myself. I believe in the promises that 
you've made about me. So you gotta believe that today, that your higher calling, that your higher being, that your God has given you strength, that your God has given you something that no man can take, no man can put you under with. And that's what's gonna take you and move you throughout the pain. That's what's gonna take you and move you throughout everything else. And that's what's gonna keep you reminded that in everything you go through in life, you are not alone. Once again, it's your man Richard Taylor. We're getting over the hump. Remember, this week you are not alone. Keep pushing. I'll see you next week. The world tonight. Who's gonna bring it back to life?